Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off the start of my tournament. Yes, we're finally getting on with it today. And we are starting off with round one of group A. And our opening match sees Diddy Darius, our champ, take on Heady. Team South America going up against Tota Nightmare. And Dino Ugg taking on Random Shy Guy 10. And if my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm still... I'm still feeling under the weather. And yes, yeah, so <laughs> I, I have another sore throat now. So the sore throat is coming back for round two. So I just can't catch a break. But right, anyway, enough about that. Let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? And let's kick off this tournament. Right, this is going to be interesting. Got my notes here ready. Oh, we're in the volcano field. That means... Ooh, that's not good news for Diddy Darius. Hang on, I might sneeze. Anyway, in the red corner, for Diddy Darius, we've got Alpha Kedrosaurus. Interestingly enough, it doesn't have any super moves. Now, I did a few test matches before I started, and Terrain Advantage seemed to play quite the big factor in who won the match. And the fact they're on the volcano field means that Heady will have Terrain Advantage with one of his dinosaurs, and Diddy Darius will have Terrain Disadvantage with our Kentrosaurus. So, yep, Heady's first dinosaur in the blue corner. We have a Triceratops, the OG stoked old truck. And because the Kentrosaurus has terrain disadvantage, this Triceratops will get the first hit, which will be a paper. But here comes the big threat from Team Heady it's Dasplitosaurus. And this Dasplitosaurus has terrain advantage. Well, I think that's going to be really crucial in this match, and that gives Hedy a favourable chance of winning this match with a terrain advantage. Right, so the first move will be paper, and Hedy will get the first hit of the tournament. Right, Diddy Darius swaps when the HP's in the yellow, Hedy in the red. Oop, we start with a tie. Ooh, but Diddy Darius gets the crit, striking back. Of course, even if Diddy Darius takes the lead here, that Dasplitosaurus is going to get a crit. Just remind you of that. And, and well, so far, it is Diddy Darius in the lead. Alright, now the Triceratops is in the red, he will attempt the swap. Okay, well he'll attempt the swap again until... Oh, Diddy Darius will be attempting a swap out as well. Oh, but Heady doesn't get the swap, but Diddy Darius does, and that could be crucial. And why I say that could be crucial, it takes the Kentosaurus out of the line of fire of the Displetosaurus. So Heady will not get the free, will not get the crit. But because the Displetosaurus still has the terrain advantage, it will get a hit. And actually, it will be a crit anyway. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, he's going to get a crit anyway. <clears throat> so Diddy Darius does indeed, so Heady does indeed get off that firebomb. And should the shant go down, he'll get a firebomb off on the Kentrosaurus as well. Oh, time to swap. Everyone gets a swap out once. Ooh, the shant gets a cunning swap out there. And a bit of light recovery to come. So Diddy Darius is two diamonds to one, but I think Heady's got a good chance here. So as I said, terrain advantage. means, yes, yes, terrain advantage means that the Splitosaurus gets the crit, but the Dino stuff is going to deny him. Remember, each dinosaur only gets to swap out once, so Diddy Darius is not allowed to swap in anymore. But Heady will no longer get terrain advantage. So it doesn't look good for Heady, I think. I think Diddy Darius, even with terrain disadvantage, is going to win this match. And it looks like it's going to be a bonus point win for our champ. 
And yep, there it is. Well, despite terrain disadvantages, Hedy just couldn't take advantage of it. And it is Diddy Darius opening up his campaign with a win. And a bonus point win to boot. Right, on to our next matchup. Right, Dio then, this should be an intriguing matchup. Will Toka Nightmare get off to a winning start? Ooh, we're on the meadow. Which is, in fact, pretty bad for Toka there because that does not favour fire dinosaurs. Oh, wait, this is Team South America. <laughs> I thought this was Toka's team. Nope. Never mind. Okay, this is actually very good for Toka. This is Team South America's first dinosaur, the Abelosaurus. And backing it up, we got Pyatnitskisaurus, a poisonous pest. Based on the terrain, he's probably going to have to do a bit of teamwork, team carrying here. <laughs> so that Abelosaurus does have terrain disadvantage on the meadow field, which means it will get hit first. Right, now for Toka Nightmare's actual team. In the blue corner, we have the Alpha Super Minus. Well, not only does Toka Nightmare have a tight advantage over the Abelosaurus, but the Super Minus will get the first hit. Which will be Paper, so probably won't do, won't do too much damage. But still, a hit is a hit. Also, backing up the Super Minus, we have Super T-Rex. So wait the mode on 4, although it, does, it will have terrain disadvantage like the Abelosaurus. So, yeah. Both our combatants have terrain disadvantage here, so an intriguing matchup. Right, so as I said, the uh, Abelosaurus will get hit. Right, let's have a look at our swapping out. So Toka swaps when HP is below half, and Team South America when HP is in the yellow. Ah, no, me no, my notes. I ought to drop my notes. Oh, that's a big crit from the Suko. Oh yeah, this thing, Abelosaurus is dead. <laughs> I don't think it's going to survive this. And it's a strong start from Toka Nightmare. Oh, I barely survived, but the shockwave is going to guarantee it doesn't. Right, that means the super will go for paper. And, well, got to attempt to swap out, but unfortunately not going to get it. Oh, yeah, and the poison tried to insult the injury. And, yep, there goes Pianitsky Saurus as well. And, actually, this is a really good matchup for Toka, now that I think, really think about it. Pianitsky Saurus has got to take on a full strength Super Minus, Alpha Super Minus, and a Super T Rex. Possible, possible. I mean, Team South America have got to get a hit first. <laughs> oh, let, 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 let Team South America get a hit. Oh, nope, nope, there's another hit for Toka. Boosh! Oh, and the poison as well. Oh, and a shockwave. Yeah, this is going to be... I think this is going to be a sweep for Toka Nightmare. Yeah. A bonus point win looks very likely. Well, if this is a five... And of course it is. Yeah, that's game. Wow. <laughs> that was quick. Wow. Did see Team South America even get a hit? I don't even think they got a hit. A dominant... Victory for Token Nightmare and a bonus point win the boot. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Pretty much our first massacre of the tournament already. And that's a promising start for Token Nightmare. Right, well, that was kind of a letdown to be honest, our matchup. So let's hope this final matchup of this session proves to be the opposite of that. Well, so far, both ma the first two matches have been quite comfortable victories for the relatively for the relative peaks. Right in the red corner for Dino Hug, we got an Alpha Acrocanvasaurus on the meadow field. So you know what that means? This Alpha Acrocanvasaurus is going to get hit first. So that's not good. That's not good news here for Dino Hug. 
terrain disadvantage there. However, backing up the Alpha Actra, we got Ankylosaurus, which has no such terrain disadvantages, nor does it have terrain advantage. <coughs> so yeah, Dino, one of the guys I think could do well in this tournament. Well, at least Dino has got type advantage here, because in the red, in the blue corner, for random Shagai 10, we have Sejuangosaurus. And yeah, I don't really see this thing making much impact against the Alpha Acro. Except for when it gets the first hit, because it will get the first hit, because the, the Alpha Acro does have terrain disadvantage. However, the dude that will probably carry this guy's team, the Spinotech there. And this thing will make a dent on that Alpha Afrocanthosaurus, given the chance. So yeah, Dino Hug has opted to swap when the HP is in the red, whereas Random Shy Guy, when HP is below the half. But anyway, let's get the terrain advantage, disadvantage done first, which means that the Sejuanosaurus will get the first hit, and a shockwave support effect will be very convenient. No a Cyclone will do, I guess. And yeah, look at that. Even with a even with a tight disadvantage, yeah, <laughs> not much damage dealt there. Ooh, ooh, a tie! But because of the cyclone, the Sejuanosaurus will get the hit anyway. I'd say this is a good start from Random Shy Guy Ten, but one crit from the Alpha Aqua and the Sejuanosaurus is practically dead. <laughs> but Dino has not opted for that crit instead. Opting for a light recovery, which is probably going to fully heal the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Ooh, Dino Illusion getting triggered there. Defense boost coming in as well. Okay, maybe not fully heal it. Oh, this could be a. Gr I think this could be a grind. Oh, oh, here comes Sonic Blast. Now this move is not affected by type disadvantage, so normal damage will be dealt. Oosh. Okay, so the Sejuang's HP is... Ooh! Now this is exactly what Shy Ghost, Shy Guy needed. A shockwave support effect and the protection of Dino Illusion. And, because the paper move is gone, Seiji, Seiji will be going for the crit. And he gets the crit! Type disadvantage or not, the Sejuangosaurus is certainly putting up a fight. Oh, another Cyclone as well. And, and, it's, and it's got the Dino Illusion as well. So even if Dino gets a hit, Dino Illusion is going to tank it. This is a solid performance thus far from Random Shy Guy. And look, look at that cyclone effect allowing him to attack anyway. But I think he's got more hits than Toka Nightmare did in the second match, and Toka won by now. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? What type disadvantage can tight disadvantage is. Okay, the Alpha Acro will attempt to swap out, and I think he needs to. Because it's been a very poor showing from him so far. Oh, and the thingy will be attempting to swap out as well. Because his HP is below half, I just noticed that. But it is Dino Hug getting the swap, and Shy Ghost will not. Shy Guy will not. It's because in the last tournament there was a guy called Random Shy Guy. No, yeah, it's a random. No, Random Guy he says, and it was a guy called Random Shy Ghost. And again, the two muddled up. Curse the people with these similar names. Okay, so the Sejuanosaurus is not allowed to swap out because it attempted to swap out and failed, so Shy Guy is stuck with him, but he's done, done so well so far. Why would you want to swap him out when you've got Spinal Techno waiting in the wings to take a crack at that acro? Of course, if this Ankylosaurus, well, actually do less damage. Oh my god, like, this is insane. This is insane. This is absolute insanity. This Sejuangosaurus is just shredding everything! Well, I tip Dino out to do well in this tournament. He's certainly not having a good start. Oh my god, and, and it's a tie, but the Cyclone allows the Sejuang to hit him anyway, so Ankylosaurus is dead. 
Okay, yeah, I think I think um, Random Shy Guy is gonna win this match. Right, okay, okay. You got type advantage here. Can you use it? Nope, it's a tie. And finally, finally, the Sejuan Lissaurus goes down. But if only Dino had did that like 10 minutes ago, <laughs> we'd be winning this match. But let's be honest, I think I think we all know how this match is going to end. The Spinal Tech will come in and should finish the job. But it does deny Random Shy Guy a bonus point victory. Oh, it's a tie. And yeah, there it is. Game over for Dino World. And it is Random Shy Guy 10. Oh, actually, <laughs> I forgot to do Terrain Disadvantage, but oh well, it, it didn't matter anyway. Shy Guy was going to win anyway. And I don't think he would have done enough damage to get the bonus point win, so yeah. <laughs> actually forgot to do the Terrain Advantage. Oops. But as I said, Dino Hook was going to lose anyway, and Random Shy Guy 10 got the win. So yeah, all's well and ends well. Right, let's have a look at the table for Group A, shall we? Well, you can't really distinguish much after the first round. You got Diddy Darius took a nightmare and Random Shy Guy 10 getting off to winning starts. And Dino Hug Heady and Team South America licking their wounds in defeat. So let's see who plays who in round two. So round two, we will see Toka Nightmare going up against Dino Hug. That could be a big game for Dino Hug. Heady going up against Random Shy Guy 10. And then Diddy Darius taking a crack at Team South America. Good opportunity there for Diddy to extend it as well. To establish a lead at the top of group A. The group I like to call the group of death. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'm glad my voice didn't go before I finished recording. So yes, please leave a like. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video where we kick off group B. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.